Here we are at the habitat of the common warthog. Now in the wild, warthogs will often take over found dens or abandoned burrows where they can seek shelter and raise their young. They do this instead of building their own. These are great places for them to seek shelter from predators such as lions or hyenas. Now here at the zoo, we've constructed their habitat with these needs in mind. On their multi-level habitat, we've constructed dens in a few different places so that they have their options to choose from. In addition to the dens, we've made sure that they have many areas for wallowing in mud holes, which is something very important for warthogs to do. This is a way that they can protect their skin from the sun as well as from biting insects. Common warthogs are a species of wild pig, but they have many similarities to the domesticated pig. Their color tends to be a light gray to brownish color, and they're sparsely covered with hair. They do have very large heads with dark manes running down the back of their spine. The front of their face, they have a very wide and powerful snout that allows them great access to rooting around in the soil. Now, they're not the smallest animal on the savanna, but they're definitely not the largest either. They weigh anywhere between 110 and 250 pounds, but that is as large as a refrigerator. Now their size though are about three to five feet long in length, and males tend to be a little bit longer. Common warthog has large upper canine teeth, which grow into tusks that grow outside of their mouth, and it has a smooth texture. They have upper and lower tusks. The upper tusks grow in a semicircle upward shape, whereas the lower tusks stay short and sharp and are very good for fighting off rival males. Warthogs get their name from the characteristic warts that can be found on their face. They are larger in males and smaller in females, and they have three pairs of them on their face. There's one above the eye, one below the eye, and one along the jaw muscle. Now these warts are not actually warts. Instead, what they are are tubercles, and they're basically just a pad of tissue that provides extra protection for their face for when males are fighting rival males or other predators. Now warthogs are not picky eaters. They're actually what we call opportunistic omnivores. Predominantly, they are grazers and will graze on grass, stems, roots, and shoots. However, they will also eat things such as carrion, snakes, and other small animals that may be found under the ground. In the wild, common warthogs are currently stable with their population. This is believed to be due to their amazing adaptability. While they do tend to have more troubles in areas where they're closer to human communities, overall, they are doing very well.